What's up, YouTube? Uh, here today with just a little, I don't know, just kind of update, news flash, whatever you want to call it. But uh, new to YouTube, so first off, just uh, you know, basic stuff like rate, comment, subscribe, whatever y'all do on YouTube. It's uh, I'll try and you know, I'll try and be a good YouTuber, get a lot of videos up. Um, really enjoy airsoft. That's gonna be my main interest, and uh, so I hope y'all enjoy my videos. Thanks. Uh, today. I just got my three basic guns that I use. I carry these all into battle. Uh, this is my ANK Masada right here. I got this from Airsoft GI for, uh, I believe it was 280 I don't think that's the usual price for Masada, but it was a two-tone. I think it was like a limited offer. So, uh, yeah. And uh, it's my KWA M93R. Uh, yeah. And uh, this year I got from a local retailer. It's just... It's just a Glock. I mean, it says CPO2. I don't know if that's like a model or something or whatever, but it's really just a basic Glock. So, uh, all right. Uh, come over here. And we'll get started now. All right, guys. Uh, talk about a little bit about my guns. Uh, keep in mind off. Always be safe, always keep them unloaded in the house and doors. Uh, not gassed up. So this is my uh this is the Glock I was saying and uh really not much to say about this. It's a really basic gun. Uh it's really has some good weight to it. Kinda hefty. Uh it's not gonna fit in uh well I mean it'll fit in a pistol pouch. It's gonna be kinda awkward because it's uh back heavy, it'll if you have it on your belt, it'll tilt out to the side and it'll just be really awkward. Uh, I, I would carry it on a vest, anywhere on a vest. If you have a pistol pouch on your vest, that's probably the best thing for it. Um, I'm going to do a little digging around in my guns and post some internal videos. I'll, I'll do that later, but uh, this is just kind of a, a review with, you know, not, not really a shooting test yet. I'll get that out later. Uh, so, yeah. So keep in mind, always keep that unloaded and ungassed. This is my KWA M93R. It also is very back heavy. The magazine adds a lot of weight. It's maybe a pound, but uh, if that, you know, um, it's not, it's a really good gun. First off, uh, <clears throat> I forgot uh, pros and cons about this. Uh, pros and cons, it's, it's you know, it's kind of heavy. It's not really heavy. It's uh, it's not very versatile because the mag, you know, extended barrel that, you know, you can fold that up though, but it's not really versatile. Another thing, it's it's not a really, it's not a really durable gun. I mean, it's, since I've had it, it's taken a little bit of uh, damage, but as you can see in the back here, it doesn't come back. It doesn't, it's, if I'm having problems with it, it doesn't, it doesn't catch over the barrel very well, so it's it's not it's not able to take a beating. Whereas this gun has been through hell and back, and you know it's still in perfect shape. This, on the other hand, is kind of it's messed up right now. So uh, work on that, get it fixed, get a shooting test out, and get that back up. Pros about this gun though, it's it's really good. It's I like the rate of fire on it. It's you know. Shoots pretty good, pretty hard. I like it. Uh, and K Masada. Now this, people would ask me, oh, sniper? No, I don't use it as a sniper, okay? It's got a low power scope. I think it's times four zoom, so it's probably even on its lowest, you know, on the lowest setting, it's it's probably a good, 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 decent amount away that you're going to be shooting. So, uh, thing thing about this is, though, uh, Masada, you have like you can get I don't know, you can interchange barrels, new engines. It's a really modable gun. It's like an M4 basically. I I'd say. Uh, <clears throat> so you can make it a sniper if you wanted to. You add all the attachments, whatever. But that's it's all it's all up to you. Uh, totally ambidextrous mag release unloaded. Mag release is ambidextrous. You put here or here. Uh, See, uh, bolt release ambidextrous, both sides. Now I've got my one point sling mount on here. Just get that off. Pull it back. 
I keep it under the trigger because there's really no other place to put it because I don't know if it's just on my gun or if this is a problem with anybody else. Let me know if it is. Um, my stock, it doesn't, uh, you know, it pulls back by itself. You don't have to press the buttons to pull it back. It's not really, it's not really hard to pull back either. Um, but once it's back, it's back. It's not going forward. That's the only problem I have is coming back. I don't, I didn't buy a sling mount right here because I really didn't need one. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I can put the sling in the same spot and I don't have to spend money on a sling mount that's overpriced because Magpul stuff is, a lot of it is overpriced. Uh, <clears throat> battery, I use a 9.6 and smart charger. Definitely just do that. Don't, uh, don't, don't use the crappy chargers. Those are stupid. That's retarded, all right? That's going to ruin your battery. You're going to fry it. So you don't want to do that. Uh, <clears throat> okay, uh, that's really all I have to say about this gun. One other thing, though. I don't, I don't really recommend keeping this on here because, you know, this is an assault rifle. And you're going to want to put a, a grip or a flash or a, wire or a laser or something on there. So unless you just want to go for the basic Masada look, I'd get, I'd get a wrist system for it. Because uh, that's what I'm getting right now. It hasn't came in yet. I ordered it ordered it uh, not too long ago. So uh, yeah, that's it. Just a little basic video of my Airsoft stuff. That's not all of it. I will post more videos of more of my stuff. You know, my gear, my BDU, my, just all my stuff. And... Uh, Hope you enjoyed the video, and rate, comment, subscribe. Until next time.